This is Carla Hinton reporting for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. I'm here in the studio today with Regina Burcham and Michaela Hammonds. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ms. Burcham is director of the Corporate Work Study Program for Cristo Rey Oklahoma City Catholic High School. Michaela is one of the students participating in a special three-day success training seminar hosted by Cristo Rey at the new Cristo Rey School on the grounds of OSU OKC. That's a lot of acronyms. So. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have a couple of questions for you, if that's okay, Ms. Mm -hmm. Burcham. Uh, some of our viewers may not know much about Cristo Rey. Can you share some basic information about the school? Absolutely. So Krista Ray schools have been around for a little over 20 years. They started in Chicago. That was the first one. And now they've expanded to where Oklahoma City will be the 33rd school in the nation. Okay. So it's got a proven track record. And the reason why so many people were interested in bringing the school here to Oklahoma City is there are two things that make it very unique. One is that it exclusively serves low income students. And two, every student works in a real professional setting. Um, and that is actually how the school becomes affordable to the families, is the work that the students perform actually underwrites about 65% of the cost of their tuition. So we feel like we're really filling a void here in Oklahoma City to get a private college preparatory Catholic school experience for a group of families for whom going to Catholic private school would be out of reach. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, what is the premise of the success training seminar and, and what does it entail? What have you all been doing for these past three days? So the success training program that we're holding, it's a three-day program which is a very condensed program of what we'll be doing next fall okay. for our first incoming freshman class and that'll be actually two to three weeks. So I talked a little bit about how what makes Cristo Rey unique is that we have that corporate work study component where students actually one day a week they go and work in a real professional setting and earn part of their tuition okay. through that work. And we don't want to just send those students into the workplace unprepared. So what we do is we train them on soft and hard skills. Um, a lot of it on the soft skills is being able to confidently present yourself, um, understand the rules of how to operate within a business organization, okay. business ethics, etiquette, things of that nature. And then there's been some technical skills like how to answer a phone and take a message and things of that nature. So what we focused on this three-day, very condensed version of that program is to take the most portable of those skills. Um, so it's been a lot of also goal setting, motivation, thinking about the future, thinking about what kind of career you might like, what career options are available to you, and what you d need to do to get there. Okay. okay, good, good. Now I understand that students participating in the seminar are uh, touring some of the businesses that will be part of the corporate work study program, like the Oklahoman, obviously, today. Uh, tell me a little bit about the tour that you all are on. So we began this morning at the Museum of Art. Um, they are hosting us for uh, the morning and uh, the tail end of our day. Okay. And we were able to take the students, Michaela included, through the organization. And we spoke a little bit about whenever you visit um, any type of business, and even if you don't think it's a business, that there's always a back-end support for that. So the museum was a really great example of that because most people who visit the museum think there's art and there's all these things that the public enjoys, but they don't think about what is needed to support that from a marketing department, from a department to curate the art, and then um, you've got a facilities management. And, and things of that nature. And so one of the things that we talked about with the students is if you want to be a lawyer, that doesn't mean you have to work at a law firm. Right. You could practice any type of law that almost every company and organization has lawyers or has uh, people who work in HR, the management of people and, and personnel resources. Um, and that there, there are similar departments that exist in every organization regardless of what type of industry that is. And to kind of encourage them to start thinking about when they go places, I wonder what the back end support is. Okay. For example, in the Oklahoman, you don't just have writers right. and reporters and editors, you have so much more than that. Uh, why did you decide to participate in the success training program? For me, it was more about expanding my knowledge of how to mature into a young adult and the more about the business world and how to handle it. Michaela, what is your favorite part of the program thus far? My favorite part of the program is goal setting because when the person from Food Bank came, I was able to get more of an understanding, more uh, detail about how to actually set it out. And that's my favorite part of this. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add to what we've already talked about? Mm -hmm. You've shared a lot of information in a short amount of time. 
I would like to talk about the rest of the day because we are about to start um, the activity that I think everyone's the most excited about. Okay. So we've arranged what we're calling a scavenger hunt okay. and the students this morning they got a little tutorial on downtown, um, things that make Oklahoma City downtown unique, right. uh, things to see and do there and also how to navigate using an old-fashioned map Okay. which I don't think many That's of the great. students had ever <laughs> no. used a map that wasn't on their phone before. Oh. So teaching them the basics of uh, map navigation, they're, they're each going to get a sheet with addresses and names of participating businesses, and we've got some great businesses that we're visiting today, including Bank First, one of our great corporate work study sponsors. And the students will have to navigate their own way downtown. They will have to identify things along the way answer questions correctly, take photos, and then they will return and be judged based on a lot of the skills that we've been teaching them over the last few days. Um, that includes accuracy, uh, attention to detail, and following directions. And so those are some really key things that we are focusing on. So okay. we're about to do that after we finish talking with you, which is why we're dressed a little casual today, and that's going to be a great activity. That sounds fun. It sounds fun. You'll learn a lot. <laughs> sure. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I know you all are about to start the rest of your tour. This is Carla Hinton reporting for The Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. For more information, read The Oklahoman.